In this movie about making monograms, we're going to start with a very simple round seal shaped monogram in the upper left hand corner of this particular page. To start with, we will create a new card that is the size 5 by 7. And I am going to eliminate the text box that gets created on the card to begin with by simply right clicking and deleting. I'm going to start with my fixed shape, which will be the circle. I'm going to choose the circle shape. As always, PE inserts a fixed shape in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to grab and resize it. I'm also going to change its color to the color that I want my monogram to be. In the color picker, I'm going to choose this blue. At this time, I'm going to simply duplicate this circle, which creates a second circle. And I'm going to use the second circle to be an interlaying circle that has a white border. So I'm going to choose a border color of white. And I'm going to give it a size of 5 one hundredths of an inch. And as you can see, it gave me a border. And if I want it thinner, I could just change that shape. What I also would like to do is make this a little bit smaller to fit inside of this one. So I'm going to use my enlarge or shrink icon here in the left-hand toolbar. And I'm going to click it twice to make it a little bit smaller. And as you can see, we're going to position it. And we have a centering tool that we can use to make sure they're perfectly symmetric to each other. I'm going to left-click and drag so that both objects are selected. And I'm going to choose my alignment tool in the left-hand toolbar. And the last option across the top row is centering. So they are centered to each other. And having done that, I could also resize and reshape this if I wanted to. I can just simply choose small and they both shrink. Or I could go big and they both enlarge. The last bit that I want to do is put my letters over the shape. Now I could use text boxes with fonts and change the color to white, for example. In this case, I am going to use our monogram tool because I want to use one of the circular shape monograms that we have called PE Virco Circle. I'm going to deselect the border option because I don't want a border on it. And I am going to put in my initials. And as you can see, if I choose the ASW, the W goes in the center. I can choose my text color at this time, which will be white. You're going to be a little funny for us because as soon as I click OK and OK, it's there. It's up here in the upper left-hand corner, and it's white, so we can't see it. We don't see it until we drag it into position. And having put it in position, I want to make it larger, so I'm just going to keep clicking away at my large icon until we get it bigger, the size that we want. You can also right-click on it and choose a different font size than the one that is currently in there now, which is up here in the top toolbar. But I'm a visual person and I like to make it visual. So I'm going to go for it to be fairly large. And again, to make sure that it's centered, I'm going to left click and drag. It's now select all three objects that are together and choose my alignment tool. And now it's centered. And if I wanted to move it somewhere else in the card, I could. I could just simply drag while they're all active. And I could again use the centering tool to make sure everything's centered and deselect it. And there you go.